So Psyllid um, arrived in New Zealand around 2006, that's when we first noticed it, and we didn't understand it or we didn't even recognise it initially. Uh, and by the time we, we realised what its impact was uh, on tomatoes, on tamarillos and potatoes, it was about 2009, uh, at which time the tamarillo industry actually was quite badly affected. So in 2009, Plant and Food um, set aside $500,000 of their internal funding to start looking at tomato potato psyllid and what its um, life cycle was and how it was, what the mechanism was that was impacting the potato crop uh, and also by proxy the potato and tamarillo crop. So the tomato potato psyllid is a big problem for the potato industry because the psyllid vectors a bacterium. Uh, known as um, Liberibacter, and its full name is Candidatus Liberibacter Solana Ciarum, and we often use the acronym LSO for that. The New Zealand potato industry is primarily focused on uh, processing, so that means we make potato chips um, and um, french fries. Um, the, that's where the problem comes with the bacterium that's transmitted by the psyllid. That bacterium, once it's in the tuber, it actually transforms the starches into sugar. Once you deep fry that potato uh, or that chip, it will actually burn and it gives you a striping on the, on the French fry and that's basically why we call it zebra chip disease. And that is one of the major issues for um, the potato industry because they can't really export the French fries and the potato chips. One of the research areas that we're looking at at the moment is um, beneficial insects. So these are insects that predate on the potato psyllid. They predate on the eggs, the nymphs and the adults. Uh, we've got a few native species here in New Zealand. One of the downsides when the psyllid came into New Zealand was that the growers had to spray uh, against the psyllid. At that moment, you also kill your beneficial insects, so that's not good. Now that we know a bit more about um, TPP population dynamics and where they are in the field, um, when they are there and when the numbers increase, we can now look at those beneficial insects again and try and target our insecticide regime such that we do minimal impact on the beneficial insects. It's, it's very important for us to understand uh, the impact of psyllid because as, as psyllid has affected the tomato potato crop, um, it's resulted in quite increased input costs as, as growers have looked to see if they can manage it through existing tools that they have. And what we've managed to do now as a result of the work that we've put in is to understand the psyllid life cycle a lot better and to very tightly control uh, the impact of tomato potato psyllid on the crop within some, some tight parameters. And by doing so, of course, we've, we've been able to mitigate its impact uh, quite considerably. And so we haven't got rid of it, but we understand it a lot better and, and, and we can control it and manage it a lot better.